my friends welcome to this series in this series what you are going to learn is material ui with react js we will dive into material ui concepts and by the end of this series this is the project you are going to build all right we are going to start with installation of material ui diving into most of the components you are going to use in our project and we also talk about theming and customization of material ui to suit our project needs and most importantly we are going to learn how to create a responsive ui for our application okay so without much talking let's look at the demo of the project you are going to build by the end of this series because learning by practicing enhances your skills and knowledge of what you're doing okay so this we are going to build we have uh, a nav bar here with icons courses fees, parents account holidays and other stuff as a nav bar okay and when i scroll down here i have a hero background here with a fixed background like that and as you can see we have these cars when i hover on it you can see the effect and we are going to make use of um, material UI grid system to make our application very responsive. And we are going to work with a footer as well. And when I hover my mouse to profile, you can see additional drop down. We are going to work on this one as well. Okay. And the most important part is that. Is a responsive part okay as you can see when I reduce the size of my application automatically I have a drawer okay when it reaches some breakpoint you can see the drawer appears automatically okay good and I can toggle as well okay and as you can see it's responsive and look at the footer now when it reaches some breakpoint, I remove the footer content from it. Okay, so when I make it large, the footer content comes. But when it gets some breakpoint, as you can see, there is no what footer here. And on the banner too, there is no text on my banner here. But as soon as I increase it, you can see that the text appears. So we are going to make use of material UI to create this so by the end of this series you will learn a lot from this and you can make use of any components in material UI for your next project so guys in the next lesson you will start installing material UI with react.js 